I'm Ralph Shire, and today I've got something very interesting to show you. I've got a set of Type 9 Medieval Arrowheads made by Will Sherman of Medieval Arrows. They're 3 8 inch shaft, parallel, with horn knocks on the ends. I've got a Type 9 short bodkin, so this is going to be good for potentially cutting into plate and as well as mail and all of the materials. It seems to be a good all-arounder head with the more pronounced long bodkin shape. That's very good at piercing mail, but what happens is it hits plate and it will bend because it's very frail. So this has got a very stout point on it as you can as you can see. So I've got a set of 10 of them here and we'll see if I break one. This is the first time shooting these. Um, there's a little bit of fiddling around with the brace height I need to do, but I think I can get a few shots off and see how they work. That went right through the target completely. So let's take it over there and see that. Buried itself in the ground, as you can see there, hopefully. Buried itself in the ground. So that's probably the safest thing it could have done. So I don't know if that if that straw boss if that straw boss doesn't stop it. it might be more, a little more risky than I thought because that didn't even make a sound as it passed through the target. It went right through and out the other side. Now I've got these little plywood pieces here to kind of stop any sort of potential misses. But if I aim for the target and I hit the target and nothing stops it, a little scary. But I've got another, I've got another target. So I'm gonna set that up, it's foam. We'll see if it works. But that felt beautiful to shoot. Okay, so if you can see there, I've got a large block of foam there. About a foot thick, two feet wide. We'll see if I can hit that and we'll see if it stops the arrows. Cause already like my goodness. That's a that's a point that'll go through some stuff right there. Okay, that stopped it. That's very, very good. That went through a lot because I pulled it all the way back to my ear that time, which I should be doing. Oh no! I didn't damage it, but came this close. I'll show you in a second. These arrows are expensive. I don't want to damage one first day I get them. That hit the wood. And that hit the other wood. But that stopped it. That was kind of surprising. Not expecting that plywood to stop it. I guess that piece of plywood is going to be my designated arrow stopper now, huh? One more. <sighs> Let's see what we got. Look at that. 
I'm definitely aiming right here. That's more of my grouping. So just up a little bit, a little bit, just a little bit to the left. Now we see this one all the way out the back. So that shouldn't be too hard to remove, thankfully. Should just be pulling it straight out. Now this one, on the other hand, that one is a little nasty. I can't tell exactly how far that's in there, but uh, really trying not to break this arrow. I can't really see that. And that is all the arrowheads sticking out. So there's one right here. There's all those, this one up here. And there's one just underneath there, I think. Maybe not. No, that's just something else. Oh, there's one down there as well, if you see that. One, two, three, four, five, six arrows hit this. Six arrows hit this and went to the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight arrows hit the target in total. One arrow went down to the wood. The other arrow, I've already pulled that out, went into this plywood here. Fantastic.